Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to everybody that continually supports my channel. Whether new or an existing subscriber, guys, thank you so very much. Today's video, we're going to be working with these beautiful ostrich feathers. I got them from Amazon. I will be linking those in the description box, guys. They're so nice and thick and full. You know, when you order feathers, I think one of the most common fears are getting something that's really just thin, but these are stunning. So the first thing we're going to do is get our feather and we're actually going to paint it using this a dollar store acrylic paint. I am painting the middle part of the feather because I don't like the bone color. This is actually going to be the topper for my Christmas tree. I think this is by far one of the easiest and simplest DIYs that I've done so far on my channel. And I actually really enjoyed this. I mean, normally I enjoy most of my DIYs, to be honest. I just popped on a movie and went to painting this took me about 44 minutes to paint all 10 of my feathers so it does take a little bit of time but it's completely worth it these are the embellishments i decided to use i've also used these on my nails if you guys are interested in that check out the description box i'll put in my nail embellishment video where i did my nails using this exact embellishment but I chose this one because I wanted something that was neutral. If I decided after the holidays, I want to put this in a vase and put it in the bathroom or my bedroom or my dining room, I want to be able to do that. So that's why I stuck with a super neutral embellishment. I did not want it to be color specific. And also I may want to use these next year. If I don't use it for a topper, I may just use it to fill in certain areas of the tree and add a little bit more of a romantic element, kind of like a whimsical element actually, to my tree for next year. My biggest suggestion is do not put the crazy glue all the way down the feather. Put it about a third of the way, or you can even do halfway depending on how you know long your feather is, and then put the embellishment on top of it. I suggest putting it on top instead of pressing the feather down into embellishment, just because I personally did not want the glue to bleed onto the feathers and make it crunchy and crusty. The first feather is done. It is so beautiful. Now we've got nine more to do. Another tip that I have to make sure that your feathers come out flawless is you want to be aware of if any of the glue has spread to the feathers and just go throughout it and kind of like loosen them a bit, separate them so that when they're dry, they're not all stuck in one big chunk because that would just be so disappointing. So while you're doing it, just make sure that you're spacing out the feathers and making sure that they're not stuck directly to each other. That's it guys, this glam feather DIY is completed. Super easy, super simple, and you can use just about anything to embellish your feathers. I hope you guys are inspired by this DIY. And if you wanna see how I dress a tree with it, tune into tomorrow's because tomorrow's video is my Christmas tree reveal. Mm -hmm. 